now let us discuss about tcp state transition diagram we know that tcp connection management involves three pages the first one is connection establishment second one is data transfer third one is connection termination so during those three pages uh, we come across various states we will discuss all those states in this concept here we have various states such as closed state lesion state sin sent state sin rcvd state established state fin wait 1 fin wait 2 closing time wait close wait last ack so these are the various states here for the client transitions we will use a black solid line whereas for server transitions we uses a dashed lines a dashed line like this and for client or server transitions we uses a dotted line so dashed line for server transitions dotted line for either client or server transition so first let's see the first one closed state here in order to represent the state uh, we can use a vowel symbol so all these symbols are vowel symbols a uh, closed state initially the client as well as server will be in closed state here this is nothing but a transition on top of every transition we will have two strings the first string is input after input we will have slash followed by output so the first string is input string second one is output string so uh, we know uh, here these uh, uh, connections are for uh, connection establishment uh, we know how to establish the connection uh, if a client wants to open a connection with server then client send sin segment to the server suppose if the server is also interested to establish connection with client server also sends sin segment plus acknowledgement for the previous sin segment sent by the client next next client provides acknowledgement for the sin segment so with the help of these segments uh, we know that we can establish the connection so here the first one is uh, active open if the client wants to establish a connection with the server then client receives client issues open command here client is initiating the connection so that's why we can call this as active open whereas server is receiving the client segments so server is following client sin segment so that's why we can say that server is uh, passive open whereas client is active open why because client is initiating to establish connection with the server so here the client issues a open command uh, so for that client send sin segment to the server so this sin is nothing but output so client is sending sin segment to the server this line is solid line so solid line means client states okay so client send a sin segment to the server and it will goes into sin sent state sin sent state so now what will happen client will receives sin plus acknowledgement from the server so this is nothing but input so client is receiving sin plus acknowledgement from the server and for that client is providing acknowledgement so for this sin segment so client will provide the acknowledgement so this is nothing but output this is nothing but input okay uh, so client is providing acknowledgement to the server and it will goes into established state so that means the connection between client to server is established now let us see about uh, server transitions so initially we know that server will be in the closed state here the server is in passive open state why because server is expecting a sin segment from the client so that's why initially it is in 
passive open state okay uh, now and after that it will goes to listen state so during the listen state so server listens sin segment from the client so server is receiving sin segment this is nothing but dash line this dash line represents these states are server states these states are server states whereas these states are client states okay so server is receiving sin segment from the client and the server is providing sin plus acknowledgement to the client and after that the server will goes into sin received state so sin hyper rcvd state so next server receives yeah if you see here server receives acknowledgement from the client and server is not sending any any segment now so that's why here we are writing hyphen so this hyphen specifies that there is no output server is not sending any segment okay uh, and uh, after sending the acknowledgement it will go after receiving the acknowledgement uh, it will goes into established state so now we can say that the first phase is over what is the first phase connection establishment is over okay now the data transfer between the client to server as well as from server to the client will be done in establish now let us discuss about uh, uh, connection termination states uh, let client has uh, no more data to send so now client will issues a close command so that means client will send fin segment to the server so if client wants to close its connection with server then client will send fin segment to the server so for the fin segment server is sending acknowledgement let the server also wants to close its connection with client then the server will send fin segment to the client so for that fin segment client is providing acknowledgement now let us see here so client is sending fin segment to the server so these are client states so that's why we use as Uh, solid uh, black line okay uh, so after sending fin segment to the server here the client will goes into fin wait one state so in this state here the client is receiving acknowledgement from the server so client is receiving acknowledgement from the server so for that acknowledgement client is not sending any segment so after receiving the acknowledgement it will goes into fin wait two so during this state the client will waits for fin segment from the server because server has to close its connection with client also the connection will be terminated in both ways from client to server as well as from server to client why because tcp is full duplex okay so here client receives fin segment from the server client receives fin segment from the server so for that fin segment client is transmitting the acknowledgement segment and it will goes into the time wait state so here the connection is not closed here it will wait for some time for closing the buffers for clearing the buffers it will close it will wait for some time so once the time period expires so time out then the client will goes into the closed state the client will goes into the closed state so this is called as active close why because client is initiating to close the connection with server whereas this is called as passive close passive close why because server is following the client sin client fin segment so here what is happening uh, these are server transitions so that that's why we use as dashed lines so server receives fin segment server receives fin segment for, from the client so for that fin segment server transmitted acknowledgement and it will goes into the close wait state and it will goes into the close wait state so let us assume that server also wants to close its connection with the client so server will issues close command so that means server is transmitting fin segment to the server so server is transmitting fin segment to the client server is transmitting fin segment to the client and it will goes into last acknowledgement so last acknowledgement state means it is expecting the server is expecting last acknowledgement from the client so assumes that server received last acknowledgement from the client so here 
server is not transmitting any segments. So once it receives the acknowledgement for that fin segment, the server will goes into the closed state. So here the client goes into the closed state. Here the server goes into the closed state. Now we have one more uh, dots da dotted lines. So this uh, these dotted lines, this dotted line specifies that it may be either client or server transition. Now let's see the scenario. Here we have uh, three dotted lines. So let's see the first one. This is simultaneous close. So assumes that client transmitted a fin segment to the server, and the client goes into fin wait sir fin wait one st state. Now we assumes that server also wants to close its connection with client. So that's why server is also transmitting fin segment to the client. So here the client receives fin segment from the server. Why? Because server also wants to close its connection with the client. So here. Here, what is happening? The client, the client receives, client receives fin segment from the server. Client receives fin segment from the server. So, for that fin segment, client transmitted acknowledgement. For that fin segment, client transmitted acknowledgement, and it will goes into the closing state, closing state. And after that, it receives, the client will receives acknowledgement from the server. The client is receiving acknowledgement from the server. And the, here the client is not transmitting any segment, and it will goes into the time wait state. After the time out expires, then it will goes into the closed state. It will goes into the closed state. So this is unexpected scenario. Both client and server wants to close the connection simultaneously. Okay. Next, let us see this scenario. Here the client transmitted a fin segment to the server. client transmitted a fin segment to the server and the client is in fin wait one state now assumes that server transmitted fin plus acknowledgement to the client as well as it transmitted acknowledgement for the previous fin segment so here client receives fin plus acknowledgement segment from the server as well as as well as client is transmitting acknowledgement so client is transmitting acknowledgement to this fin segment so this is called as three way handshake why because three segments are transmitted here okay and it will goes into the time wait state after that time period is expired then it will goes into the closed state so this is about uh, tcp tra state transition diagram so these are nothing but uh, connection establishment states and this is data transfer state established state and these states are connection terminated states